My name is Winter and myself and my wife Maria, we came over from Ireland in uh, August 2018 to open up Little Plan Pantry. Uh, Little Plan Pantry is what they call a zero waste store. We like to call it minimal waste. It's a, also known as a package free store. And the concept is pretty simple. It's to sell food ingredients and zero waste lifestyle products without packaging. So people tend to bring their own containers and uh, they fill them up, they pay by weight, and they can buy as little or as much as they like. Uh, myself and Maria were living in a very remote place in the west of Ireland. We simply wanted to open up a kind of store that we would want to shop in. Where we were living there wasn't any possibility to buy without packaging. And um, we realized that over time that we were collecting an enormous amount of plastic packaging waste and when I went to the recycling centre I discovered that even most of that wasn't going to be recycled but went into landfill or incineration. And that kind of woke us up and made us realise that we need to change our lives. And we went in search of how we could do that. We came here not because necessarily we wanted to open up a shop, but we wanted to change our lives and we liked Amsterdam and we liked the Netherlands as a society to base ourselves in. And then we decided to open up the shop. Myself and Maria are both dreamers more than business people. And it was probably that motivation that brought us to where we are, rather than some business concept that we wanted to develop. And that can be clearly seen in both the shop that we have and the neighborhood that we're situated in. Uh, both are very beautiful places that you want to spend your time in. And uh, this neighborhood in particular, we wandered into it by accident about three, four years ago, a couple of years before we opened up the shop. And we just fell in love with it. But we didn't imagine that years later we would actually have our dream shop in this dream neighborhood. It happened by accident. Since we've opened, we've discovered that probably the majority of our customers don't necessarily come from the neighborhood. We have obviously a great uh, relationship with the neighborhood and many of our customers do. But because it's a unique shop, because it's the only plastic-free, zero-waste shop in the Netherlands selling groceries without packaging, they're coming from everywhere. So people are traveling from all over Amsterdam, all over the Netherlands. I'm quite surprised and shocked by the positive reaction that we've got since we've opened. But ultimately, we're a neighborhood store. Uh, that's the main thing, we're community-based. And as we expand, and hopefully we'll open up more stores like this in the future, each will be community owned, community run, community situated, and that's a major part of what we do. We didn't have much expectations. I have to be honest and say that I'm pleasantly surprised, and we have a, a great community of people here in the Netherlands supporting us, and really wanted to survive. That has given me great faith again in, in mankind. Although there is a lot of people who have no idea or are not concerned, I should say, with ethical consumerism and really aren't questioning their habits, there are a tremendous amount who are, and every day we get new customers coming in simply because they want to change their life and they want to shop better, live better, and they want to harm the environment less. And so they. The main thing is, you really have to take your commitment serious, and that's not a judgment, Earl, but if you, if you really want to address your consumer habits and change them, it's, a, it's going to require an effort, because everything is against you doing it. All the convenience is there. Convenience is the biggest obstacle you have to overcome in your life. And that may mean that you have to travel a little further. It may mean that you have to research a bit more. It may mean that you have to inconvenience yourself to change your habits. You have to probably end up cooking more, creating more, making more things yourself rather than buying them. Many customers have come in here, they come in out of interest in search of something and they end up not just being kind of friends, but they actually volunteer their time and effort to help us make this work. So I have a few customers who have literally walked in the door in search of whatever it was they were looking for to change their lives 
and have ended up more contributing enormously to what we're doing and, uh, and actually helping the whole thing grow and work. And that to me is, is amazing and probably one of the greatest things that's happened, the rewards for us. So we wait. The Netherlands specializes in producing a product for export. And it's actually one of the problems with uh, food in the Netherlands that it's all wrapped in plastic and it's one of the worst countries yes. for it. Yes. But that's because they export so much that a lot of the production is actually for export and then comes feeds back into the chain here. But they, the plastic wrapped cucumbers, for example, and things like that are all designed and are in plastic because they're mainly for export. Obviously, it's sustainable statistically because people are cycling and you know and uh, and so maybe they have certain lifestyles that uh, make it sustainable but there's also a tremendous amount of uh, the main supermarkets here are completely full of plastic more than I've ever seen anywhere in my life and there's a lot of mass production taking place um, as I say mainly because they're feeding the world and uh, but I don't know enough to say whether it's sustainable or not I come from Dublin where we have uh, Everybody has organic waste collected from their households and brought off for, uh, for composting and it doesn't happen here. So there's many shortfalls and I'm sure there's many positive things as well, but I don't know enough about it is the truth.